Hello, I'm Lim Tiong Wee, an associate professor with the Department of Statistics and Applied Probability at NUS. Four years ago, we launched an undergraduate degree program in data science and analytics. That August, we took in 30 students. Last August, we took in 180 students. One of the factors driving the global demand for data science expertise is the explosion of data. Studies have estimated that we are producing 2.5 exabytes of data daily, that by 2020, we would have created 40 certifies of data, and that's this year. There are also some 50 billion smart connected devices in the world. These devices make up the Internet of Things. Because these devices collect, analyze, and share data, the Internet of Things enables modern applications such as predictive maintenance, which is progressively replacing the traditional practice of prescriptive maintenance in the industry. The availability of and accessibility to large amounts of data have given rise to modern big data applications in virtually every sector. These include high frequency trading in finance, recommended systems in commerce, and personalized medicine in healthcare. In Singapore, the Smart Nation Initiative is bringing together people, businesses, and government to support better living through digital technology. Strategic national projects tap on big data analytics, artificial intelligence, the IoT, and robotics, which are all at the frontier of technology. Defined broadly, data science is an interdisciplinary field about processes and systems to extract knowledge or insights from data in various forms. It makes use of techniques and theories drawn from computer science, mathematics, and statistics. Before the program came about in 2006, our statistics and mathematics programs equipped our graduates with skills that are readily translatable to data scientific work. Examples include Dr. Eric Sandosham, who holds degrees in both mathematics and statistics from NUS. He has founded a consulting company that provides data-driven solutions for clients across the Asia-Pacific in diverse industries. Another example is Mr. Ivan John Clement, who is a much more recent graduate from our computational biology program. He makes use of advanced analytics and machine learning to transform patient care. It was therefore natural for my department and the Department of Mathematics to jointly offer a direct honors Bachelor of Science degree program in Data Science and Analytics, or DSA, jointly with the School of Computing. An objective of the program is to equip students with analytical tools and techniques to resolve complex data scientific problems in various sectors and domains, as well as to communicate skills to communicate insights gained using visualization tools. To achieve these objectives, the curriculum has been designed with sufficient technical depth and a breadth of domain-specific knowledge. Whereas technical depth ensures that our graduates will be able to develop novel analytical tools, problems that will emerge in the future, we felt that it was important to have domain-specific knowledge as well so that our graduates are able to identify and formulate mission-relevant problems in various domains. This ensures that our students develop both their hard skills and soft skills simultaneously. Hard skills are acquired from technical modules. Soft skills such as problem formulation, problem solving, communication, collaboration, and storytelling are acquired from industry-linked modules, projects, or internships. I will now talk briefly about the program structure. As the DSA degree program is a direct honors program, students are required to complete a total of 160 modular credits, or MCs. This typically means that students read 40 modules. Apart from the prescribed requirements, there are 36 MCs of so-called unrestricted elective modules. Students can make use of this space to read a minor or second major in another subject, or participate in credit-bearing internships, or read modules that align with their personal interests, such as learning the Korean language. Within the major, there are 72 MCs of essential modules. These include foundational modules, as well as modules dealing with data analytical tools and techniques. We also have integrated modules that focus on the use of data analytics 
in the practice of data science. There is also an honors level project which carries 16 MCs of credit. Students can attempt uh, an honors project which is an academic project or which is an internship. Students do this in the final year of study and we will give you more details later as well. The remaining 24 MCs in the major allow students to either delve deeper in depth into subject matters such as artificial intelligence, data mining, or high dimensional statistics, or gain practical experience in sense making with data science professionals. Again, there'll be details later on uh, how one can do so. Students in the DSA program are in a unique position to benefit from the research strengths within NUS in computer science, statistics, and operations research. Not only do they learn from professors who are at the cutting edge of research, they're also part of a network which they can continue to tap into even after they graduate. Hello everyone, my name is Vic and I would like to talk to you about the experiential learning aspects of the DSA program here at the Faculty of Science at NUS. Now earlier on, my colleague Tiong Wee spoke to you about trying to incorporate hard skills and soft skills training into our program. I'm going to try to expand on some of the aspects of our program that delve into the soft skills training. And why do we need that? It's because as a data scientist, you need to work with the data that you have at hand. But sometimes you work in an unfamiliar setting with unfamiliar people. So you need to adapt. You may have to learn a new software tool, a new hardware tool to negotiate with people or to collect the data on your own. So the pedagogy in our program reflects the need for our students to be adaptable problem solvers. And we strive to put them in diverse environments so that they get this training. Now the first initiative that we have is the cooperative education program. Now through this program, students learn academic studies and on the job training at the same time. Now I must stress, this is just one of the options you have in our DSA program. If you choose to pursue this option, you begin work at a company after your second year of classes. Right? So you embark on your internship and you stay at the same company for five full semesters. Alternate semesters, you come back to campus for classes as well as working at the company. At the end of these 18 months, hopefully the students will have um, finished their project to conclusion and developed strong relationships within the company as well. Now, this is a list of co-op partners that we have currently working with us. I'm going to show you a few slides such as this one, listing out companies. And the whole aim is to try to highlight to you that there is a whole diversity of domains, diversity of companies that you can work and train in as part of our program. Now, how about what if you decide not to take up the co-op program, which lasts 18 months? You still have the option of working on shorter internships, each of which lasts about one semester and you can do several of these throughout your four-year program. Industry companies are integral to the success of our program. Now, the companies don't just host our students, they also come into the classroom. For instance, Kanta comes into the classroom to facilitate hackathons, give our students tips, and so on. Now, on this slide, we have a list of companies that are currently hosting students for their final year internship. So, the internship can, in fact, be the final year capstone project as well. Let's talk about the third initiative. This is through the Data Analytics Consulting Center. The DACC for short provides consulting services to the industry and students can work on these projects, typically part-time, under the supervision of one of our faculty members in the department. The theme of immersing our students in an industry setting extends all the way to the classroom as well. If you look in our FAQ document, there will be a link to a description of one of the classes that contains a series of datathons or hackathons. What I have here is from a recent press release. This is one of the particular datathons that takes place in one of our classrooms. As part of it, students work on large volumes of data using just the data, the trajectory of vessels, to try to detect whether there is any illegal activity going on. Let's talk a little bit about the career prospects of data scientists. As the volume of data continues to increase, the need for people who can dig into this data, analyze it, will continue to grow. But you don't have to take my word for it. 
you can look online. There are several reports, several surveys that tell you that there is a strong and healthy growing demand for data scientists right now. To continue on that, on that question, what we did was a quick search on LinkedIn for data scientist positions. And as you can see, there is a whole list of companies that are currently on the lookout for data scientist positions. To summarize, our program has three key pillars. The first one is that we have a multidisciplinary syllabus that cuts across three subjects. Second, we strive to incorporate deep domain knowledge so that you have the technical depth to extend results or customize them as you need to. Lastly, we have a strong and prominent experiential learning dimension to help you train up in the soft skills aspect. All right, everyone. I really hope to have piqued your interest in the subject and in the program through this small talk. If you have any questions, any clarifications, please feel free to contact us at one of these channels. We'd love to hear from you. We hope to see all of you on campus.